having come off the main road from the broad main bank barrow, it's now time for the Culliford Tree Barrow. This is one of my absolute favourite ancient sites. Perhaps my most visited, photographed and filmed round barrow. The layers of history and myth and feeling here are just incredible. Situated on a crossroads, a liminal space. Archaeologically speaking, obviously it is a Bronze Age round barrow. But excavations also showed some much later Anglo-Saxon burials. With the Anglo-Saxons, it was also the site of elite court, a hundred meeting place for the area. Decisions of all manner have been taken at this very place. It's also the site of fairy music, like the Bincombe Bumps, just visible to the southwest from there. Historically speaking, it's also the grim site where hung, drawn and quartered remains were displayed after the bloody assizes of the infamous Judge Jeffreys. On a more positive note, personally, it's a place of incredible healing, comfort, solace for myself, a place of magic. fortune to visit here a large number of times between November 2020 and April 2021. Heading to the western boundary there are a number of other barrows visible from the same field as Culliford Tree Barrow, just peering into the edge of Came Wood. The beech trees are around 250 years old. There is a striking cast iron sign on the crossroads. From a sign in Broad Main, some really helpful information. The moods fair from April, sunny days of sheep grazing, icy mornings, the remnants of autumn, striking sunrises, dark November evening, a place of power and magic, reflections, contemplation. plant growth, mosses, lichens, intertwining branches, 
twigs. One time filming here past nightfall. It got a bit vibey. I began getting a very definite sense I was not alone and eventually felt I'd outstayed my welcome and I hastily left the field. But the main feeling for me at Culliford Tree Barrow is of comfort. Before our journey takes us round the back of Canewood or along the Ridgeway Road, let's have another closer look at the barrows, the slight raised areas covered with ivy and undergrowth. Before we head to the gate to the north. And to finish this film of Colourford Tree, just a simple slow-mo of the rippling water in the beech trees.